Bird, what are you doing in here? Get out of here. Hey, how's it going? Time to pull an engine. If you watched the last episode, then you know the truck's oil pressure is not great. It's pretty low, but that doesn't mean it's toast yet. There could be a number of reasons to cause that. And in order to find out, I need to pull it out and tear the engine apart. So, this episode, I'm pulling an engine. But first, I'm going to pop a valve cover, see if I can confirm the displacement of this engine. Once I get the valve cover off, the casting numbers will tell me whether it's a 350 or a 305, or at least the heads are. The block will really tell me, but I won't be able to get a good look at that until I get the engine out. So, give me a sec. And the valve cover's off. Took me a minute because they glued it on with a bunch of RTV, but it's off. So, here's what I got. Well, first, I went through the truck and here's some junk I found. Bunch of change. Custom <laughs> hose clamp. Blue paint stick that actually works still. A red rooster. Mystery ball of a Aluminum foil. Uh, I am not opening that up. In the past I've found drugs. <laughs> Busted watch. And some t-shirt used to fill the hole in the seat. Oh, and I'm not sure if these are custom, but that looks custom to me, so... Whatever. <laughs> and I've started my, my scrap wiring. <laughs> So, here we go. Rock. I went in and pulled the rocker. And you can see for yourself, 906. That tells me these are 350 Vortec heads. Now, of course, most trucks are supposed to have a 062, I believe. And the 906 is the less desirable set. Because they have the hardened exhaust valve seat that hangs out and it doesn't matter. I'm gonna I'm gonna pocket port them anyway, so that's not an issue for me. It's actually a plus for me. Because from what I can tell, Vortex are kind of crack prone. And the 906, because of the hardened valve seat, are less crack prone. So that's good news for me. Maybe a little bit extra work, but the heads should be still good. That's already a mess. But I wanted to wait to pull the valve cover until I knew I was pulling the engine. Because as soon as I pulled it off, I wasn't going to put a brand new gasket on it and I know it was going to leak. Well, I've unbolted, cut, and ripped out what I came for tonight. But I'm calling it. I'm tired and I'm going to have to finish up tomorrow. I just need to get the engine bolts out, transmission mount, a few odds and ends, and we'll get her out of there. Got me a little bit of wire for now. Also, it turns out that the radiator looks pretty new, so I'm going to try and sell it for 50 bucks or whatever. So, that's it for now. Back at it tomorrow. 4x4s. Fun stuff. This is actually my first time working on an 84x4, so I knew they have a transfer case. And I knew it was going to be a little bit of an issue, so I had to kind of take me a little bit longer, otherwise I'd already had the engine transmission out. Then, of course, it rained some, so this is what I got so far. A while back, I got this TCI, I think, transmission adapter for your jack. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a go. I originally was going to try and pull the engine and transmission as one after I disconnected the transfer case. But now I'm thinking I'm going to try and pull just the engine and then I'll take the 
transmission with the transfer case still attached out from under. And how it basically works is you pull out your jack thingy and drop it in there. Of course, my other jacks, the lower ones, those pads don't come off, so we'll see. Oh, and I modified it some with this chain here, cut a few links off. And I welded them on so I can add these straps and strap the transmission down. Plus, as it comes, it's actually a bit too long, so I had to cut that down. So, that's the plan. I'm still not sure how hard it's going to get the, the transmission and French case out from under because my jack doesn't go that low. But, I'll figure it out. Out of my garage. <laughs> Dumb birds flying around my garage. Anyways, everything's unhooked. I got the picker out. It's hooked up. So it's time to pick this cherry. <laughs> well, in this case, it's probably a boat anchor, but let's get to it. It's out. The engine is out. Success. I wiped out back here and you can see for yourself. 5.7. So she's 350. Good news. Well, <laughs> so far. <laughs> still could be a boat anchor. We'll see. <laughs> the head still could be cracked. We'll see. Who knows? As far as the transmission and transfer case, that's also out. In case you're wondering how, <laughs> well, there it is. Recovery hook. Just in case you're wondering, I got my picker set at two tons. What do they call that? Even Flex Pro? Transmission adapter, it worked okay. Needed a second jack to support the transfer case, which I should have put through the, this side. I initially just stuck it through the other side, but it pulled through no problem. And when you do jack it up, because of the straps, it kind of does support transmission. Oh, I've had a little more weight on this side. But I pull that shaft off and it might be good. I don't know. I got a furniture doll I'm just going to throw into the transfer case and I'll leave it on the jack and I'll roll it around that way. So. That's it for tonight. But they're out. Next time, 
I'm tearing into this sucker. See if we can find the problem. Hopefully fix it. So, thanks for watching. Keep it real. You up there now? Look, little guy. You gotta go out in nature. Go on, get out of here. Shoot. Fine. Stay. See if I care. Jeez. Awesome.